Hi Aquarius, I'm doing, I'm a bit late, I know I am, but I am going to be starting to get on top of my videos now, I'm going to be two, doing two videos for each sign each month, um, I'm doing the first half of January, obviously it could have, this could have already come in or it could be starting now, um, I will be doing another video towards the end anyway, so if this energy is not in now, it could be coming up or it could have just happened, I never know until I start the cards, um, I will explain, I don't put all my readings about love, so if, if love comes up I, I'll speak about love, um, I just do it general, so whatever they want to talk about, so each star sign will get their own message. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, if your sun sign doesn't resonate with you, always check your moon and rising, if you, if you really do want a love reading I'd always check your Venus. Um, we do have the uh, Cancer full moon tomorrow, uh, Friday the 10th major energy releases and uh, it's also the lunar eclipse which opens the portal for even more um, releasing so for 2020 it's all exciting so I'm just going to go straight into your reading uh, for January 2020 I'm going to be starting with the psychic tarot deck I like to call it the spiritual deck so I always like to try and bring the spiritual reading in uh, see where we're going spiritually if it links in with your uh, 3D self and then I'll be doing your angel cards um, each video, I, I never know what cards I'm going to choose, so this month I'm going to be using these two decks. Uh, it might change as I go along because I just swap and change um, as I, how I feel on that day, to be honest. So I'm going to go straight into Aquarius Spiritual Tarot for Aquarius as a collective. Spiritual Tarot for the Aquarius as a collective. So the situation is your intuition. Um, straight away from that I'm kind of getting your intuition is telling you that there's doors that need closing in order to open um, better doors you know it's like you're, you're being guarded there's a need to open your eyes to your intuition the situation is you've got to use your intuition so Major Arcana so what's the challenge what's challenging your intuition at the minute What's challenging the Aquarius the intuition the present what's the challenge obstacles and challenges so yeah some Aquarius could be going through rough times at the minute endings new beginnings um, needing to step out and open that door also to be closing doors and don't forget this is a spiritual reading so it, it could be the it could be doors within life lessons um, in order to you know gain further clarity uh, the challenge I can feel is to get out of your head because you could quite easily step over that and to me these orbs they could be people they could be your own thoughts they could be um, you know it, it like mental challenges obstacles but you could climb straight over there we've got five so changes so I do feel um, a lot of my Aquarius is going through changes and your intuition is trying to guide you in which way to go with these changes why is it coming around now? Accelerated motion. Uh, eight, ending karmic cycles as well. The need, I also feel the need to raise your vibration. So if you think of the number eight, uh, I always see it as the lower circle is like the lower vibrations. And what spirit are trying to do right now is catalyst you up into a high vibration. So I feel like I'm speaking to some Aquarius as that need to raise the vibrations. Uh, we could be feeling depressed, we could be feeling lonely, we could be you know something has gone on here and i feel like we need to raise the vibrations but you can do this quite quickly with the accelerated motion a lot of things as well happening all at once like busy 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 but i feel it's more of a busy mind oh sorry recent past rejoicing celebrations um this but these obstacles could have come at a time when we should have been rejoicing in celebrations so we've just gone through christmas new year um, you know that type of energy could have been birthdays you know and things like that but that's in that's in the recent past um, so these obstacles and challenges could have come up around this time around the end of 2019 when you feel you should have been celebrating and things didn't turn out the way you, you thought it would have done but I kind of feel intuitively you kind of felt the build up to it anyway so at present for my Aquarius is love begins well this is your spiritual tarot it's time to love yourself 
uh, what your guide's basically saying is they'll put in as much effort as you do. You're starting a brand new stream. So yeah, I do feel endings and new beginnings here, but I feel it's more spiritually. There's a new beginning coming in spiritually. We've got the rainbow. Uh, it's a one, brand new beginnings. But you've got to put the work in. You've got to do the self-work. Near future, the waiting game. So yeah, there is some work to be there is some work to be doing, but I feel like you with the accelerated motion within the next two months, it's like you feel like I feel like you need to go inwards. Um, you feel like you're going round in circles. You're actually not because you're actually blossoming. It's just a matter of time. You need to stop feeling like you're in this limbo because you, from what I'm seeing, you're actually not. You're, at, you're there's growth, but you're not seeing it. Um, maybe that's the challenge. Maybe, the, you know, with the challenge and the intuition, maybe you need to open your eyes, stop trying to look through the papers, um, uh, you know, and see things for what they actually are because that will bring on things quicker. You gr you're growing, blossoming, uh, you know, and I do say in a lot of my videos, I know this is a number two card, but you're blossoming, we're, we're being grounded. It's only a matter of time before them leaves start to come in so your power in this situation is to stand your ground so setting boundaries with other people or even standing your ground with yourself um if you're behaving wrongly you know if, if you're venting or you can step back you know stand your ground with yourself stand your ground with other people stand your ground with the circumstances kind of take it for what it is and like it can't be changed stand stand your ground in growth you're being given strength outside influences oh major flyer Outside influences is the shadow card, which is the moon card. So, so it is telling me that there is a need for you to release something. I do feel it's releasing thoughts, especially with with this deck with it being the shadow. You could be going through dark night of the soul. You, you know, ego versus uh, spirit. And I always like to say spirit's got the upper hand. Um, but that's the outside influences. I think you're needing to face your own battles. Your intuition is trying to call through to you. The challenge... There's like there's a mental battle going on around a situation. Um, I feel I really do feel like you need to sit inwards, and your power is stand your ground. And I feel it's more stand your ground against ego. Uh, you know, fear, lack, loss. Everything happens for a reason. There's a need to to do a major release. Pops off fears. Hops off fears, your third eye chakra. So spirit are hoping that you actually do start to use this instead of the, instead of the papers. Uh, you know, for the for your intuition to kick in. There's a need to open the third eye chakra because it, it's like it's closing off because of the the situation that you found yourself in. It's only a matter of time before it it comes back open i feel like you're in um on pause it's like spiritually they've put you on pause in order for you to do this self-work um but it's a good thing it's a good change sometimes we need to go on pause you know into retrospect to to kind of gather us thoughts and and see why things have happened to find the lesson in in whatever has happened i come for jam so you, your outcome is a temptation card, which is the devil's card. Um, we are in Capricorn. Uh, you could be dealing with that. But you also could be with these mental battles and spirit trying to get through to you. There could be some Aquarius out there battling with addictions, to toxic thoughts, depression, you know, anything negative. I feel like you're in a battle of your own mind. Um... I really do, and that is that is the main focus. You're in healing. 
ailing of the mind, addictions, vices, think, uh, you know, anything, anything negative. Give me one more on the uh, devil card, please. Financial material changes. Whatever these changes uh, that have been going on, whatever's affecting you mentally and 3D wise within your life, um, it, it start. I feel like it's starting to have an effect on your financial or material uh, things, houses, um, finances. Um, you you could be going inwards again. One five five five. Uh, you know, it's like you're going through a bit of a personal tower moment, but it will come out as growth. Um, but it could be affecting your finances. So, say you've had to take time off work because you you, you feel ill or you know depression, anxiety, anything like that. It could be affecting your finances. Even if you are using vices as in alcohol or drugs and things like that, we could be spending too much money on those. That needs to be uh, addressed. I want one more, actually. Oh, they've given me two. So now you've got another five. Major, major changes. Major changes. Um, they, they, they seriously like calling out for you to create... Um, to learn the lesson in what's going on there's a massive massive lesson going on here it could have been this could have been you know like an eight year cycle that needs to end it's got to end and it's like they're basically crying out for you to, you know january february deal with your issues because what you, what you get after the dealing with the issues is the firm foundations you feel grounded again uh, you know, feeling solid, feeling safe within your environment, feeling safe within your own mind. So yeah, quite deep Aquarius for your spiritual tarot, and obviously it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, but there's a lot of inner healing to do to gain clarity on that situation, and I really do. I, I kind of want to say you do need to do the healing inwards. But if there's a need to ask for help, you, you need to ask for help um, with the spiritual tarot, and that's obviously not going to cover everyone. So I'm going to go into the angel deck now and see what the angel deck has got to say for January. You're getting a lot of flyers. Where's that gone? Another five. Are you feeling paranoid? Situation, five of air. Unwise choices. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. You've also got to review your own motives. Like, what has been going on? Is this a, is this a group of people? Or is this all your own thoughts with it being five of air? Like, a battle again. Are you battling other people? Are you battling yourself? Is, is it all of it as a collective? Um, you know, you might have made some wrong choices. All you can do is learn, from, learn what you can from the situation. You can't go back and change anything, but you can change the future. So what's challenging this? Challenging the five of air. We've got two. So the three of earth, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality of work, being a team player. And then we get the 11 card strength, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. Has someone been hard on you or you've been hard on other people? You know, it's like you've got to create... You've got to be compassionate against yourself and compassionate to other people. Either someone's been judgmental against you or or you've been judgmental against other people. Now it's time to realise that there's people out there that... It, it's Maybe you've gone off on your own path. I'm feeling a bit self-sabotage. Um, but it's time, it's time to come back and be a team player. And if this isn't you, if this is someone else that has put you in this situation, you rely on the team that you've got around you. You don't have to keep it all within. You don't have to do this battle by yourself. I feel like you're isolating yourself. I feel like there's a need to come out of isolation. So why is this coming around now? Yeah, it's coming around because you've got to move forward. The Six of Air, the Six of Swords, pack them lessons up and take them with you. You know, things looking up the end of a difficult situation. That That is why it's coming around, because they want to end this difficult situation. Learn the lessons, pack them swords up, put them in the boat and take them with you. You don't have to carry them on your back as a weight. If you've done something wrong, you've done something wrong, apologise and move forward. If someone else has done something wrong, even if they, they don't want to apologise, forgive. Forgive and move forward. Whatever we all do in poisons us. That is, yeah, that is the major issue with this reading. Whatever we hold within poisons us, whether it's our own thoughts or whether it's what other people have done with us. 
Wow. Recent past. Yeah, so we've got you, the star, Aquarius. Um, I'm kind of not going with the uh, message on the card. I feel like they're just trying to tell me the Aquarius. Some Aquariuses have gone into hermit mode, what I was just saying then, like isolation. Um, I feel like it's time to... I feel like you're going to be in this isolation mode for around two months, but I feel like it's a time of growing, spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery, learning about yourself, learning lessons uh, from this is a reason why you why you've isolated yourself or why, why you need to isolate yourself or isolate yourself from certain people. Another five. Again, shitloads of fives. So at present, again, fear surrounding money. The wisdom takes help, help from others, uncertain self-employment. So I feel like I'm, this is obviously not going to resonate with all Aquariuses. The Aquariuses that I'm linking with, I do feel that whatever is happening is going to have a major effect on your money or has had a major effect on your money up finances. Uh, I also feel like you could be isolating yourself and pushing people out. Uh, the wisdom to accept help from others, uh, you know, sometimes we've got to admit we don't know everything, you know, we've, we've got to take a step back and be able to accept other people's help. Um, I always say other people's opinions are opinions, but sometimes you've got to listen to them because take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You know, if people are stepping in, it's just because they want to help you. I feel like you're pushing out the wrong people. Near future, the Queen of Air. So we're coming back into your own energy, which is good. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, being able to see the human situation again, finding your independence again. So this major healing, you're finding yourself. This has to happen for a reason. The Queen of Air, be careful that you don't cut out the people that you need though. Be really careful that you don't cut out the people that you need because I'm feeling that someone's been hurt. It, it's definitely affecting finances. It could have been about money. Um, but then we've got the devil card, the vases. I'm feeling depression or anxiety. Uh, clearing of the thought source. I'm really glad that's come out in your near future, the Queen of Air. Uh, coming back into yourself, out of hermit mode and coming back into yourself. There's just a situation here that we've got, we, we need to get on top of. Your power in this situation. The page of fire. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. That is a power. The page of fire brings in excitement. It's like you need something to look forward to. Make the plans um, for the future. What do you want to do now? You, you've got a blank page here. Learn the lessons and just move through it. Sit with them and take the lesson on board, but move through it. Yes, yeah, stay on pause for a little bit, maybe eight weeks. Keep getting eight. But, uh, you know, especially with all these fives, it's like you've no option but to sit with your lessons. It's hard influences. What's influencing this? You're awakening. You're looking at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Yeah, it's like you. It, there's a need to be on pause, a temporary standstill. It's important to find yourself, look at things from a different perspective. Um... You're awakening to things. It's seriously time to go inwards and see where these lessons, what you've learnt from these lessons, and how you can take it forward. Um, because then you come into your own power. Don't stay within this stigma. It's like a stigmatic, yeah. Pop Sophia's balance. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing, which is another five numerology four and one. Your reading is just fives all over the place. Major, major changes. Uh, but your hopes are you want balance. You do want balance. Be ready to compromise with people. The, it, the, it's like there's a group effect here. And an outcome for the next couple of weeks. Oh, got two. Yeah, see, we've got the devil card again. So we've got ego, 
false sense of entrapment, negative or negative or fear-based thoughts. So definitely, uh, I am speaking to Aquariuses that are battling with their own mind at the minute, or battling with other people. Because on top of that, we've got the nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. But are you are you battling against people because of your mind? You know, it's like drop, drop the barriers. You don't have to fight the world. That's what I kind of feel. You you don't need to fight the world. You know, let it go. You're in a major battle. With your awakening, you're in a major battle. Spirit, spirit, is, spirit and ego, war going on inside your head with spirit and ego. Uh, I feel like you need to drop your defences with the nine of fire there. You know, drop the defences and kind of submit to it. it. You know, submission is a power in submission sometimes, because then we can see the lesson. We can we can see it more clearly. And I'm gonna keep saying this will not resonate with all Aquariuses, but I really hope that this helps someone because I feel like someone's in dire straits. I want to get one more on top of that. Give me one more with the Devil card and the Nine of Fire. So both outcomes in both cards is the devil card, addi addictions or ego. Yeah, you need to release it. You know, 13, magic number, release, but it's also the death card. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. It's You've got to move on from these lessons. You've got to take that time out and sit with them and release it. You you've got to do it for your own self. Otherwise, you're going to keep going round and round and round in this cycle. You need to release whatever it is that's poisoning you within there, whether that is drugs or whether it's your own thoughts or whether it's whatever other people are doing. Um, even if it's the cycles that you've been living, there's like a major transformation going on. It's time to move forward and to end this situation, put the self work in. I really hope that helps um, someone out there. So, uh, a bit of a serious one, really, but. Like I say, it won't resonate with everyone, but I really do hope it helps someone. Okay, bye.